Jimmy Neutron in Final Boss. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What's goody? Welcome to the Final Boss. I got a pass. Of Jimmy Neutron, Zack of the Twonkies. I got a pass. Okay. You can go through. Dad. Trouble. Or you are out. I'm a cartoon stereotype guy. Dad. You forgot your ticket. Dad. Glad that we caught all those twonkies. In exactly oh boy, batteries and health packs. Minutes, awesome for a concert. To return them. Just enough time to enjoy Grace Star's rehearsal. I don't know, Jimmy. Are you sure they're safe in there? Of course, Carl. You have to remember that I made it. What Fucking could moron. possibly go wrong? That's Timmy Turner's catchphrase. Yo, Retroville, are you ready to get crazy? I'm getting crazy. Yeah, I'm getting crazy. 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 I'm not now, Sheen. Can't you see I'm enjoying the show? How are you the smart one? How is Sheen the voice of reason? Not now. How is Carl the voice of reason? Is it Sheen? Well, I think there's somebody trying to get out of your backpack. Don't be ridiculous, Sheen. There's no body in my backpack. There's lots and lots of... Oh, no! No shit! No shit. What could possibly go wrong? Jimmy, I think I can hear my mommy calling me, so I gotta go. I, I like this line. I Mom calling me as well. Good luck, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Oh, good. We have one, two, three, four minutes left. And here's the final boss. He looks a lot like the Frozen Lake boss, actually. That is no coincidence. Because, first of all, let's get our thing ready. So for this final boss, he takes the form of every boss that we face so far. Also, we're constantly on ice. What we gotta do here, instead of break apart the icicles, we have to sh break apart his thing. Thank you, Jimmy, for stating the obvious. So what we gotta do is we can only break his barrier when he shoots his uh, fist at us. Oh my god, come on. Hurry up. There we go. That's the only way for us to hit him. You can't launch anything at him, and also, he looks really short compared to, like, how you would expect him to look. He's really tiny. Especially for our final boss. Alright, now he's taking the form of... Oh, I didn't want you to do that. He's taking the form of the, uh, this boss. Yeah, so now, basically, instead of using the metallic parts, even though there are metallic parts in this area, what we gotta do is use the area over here. Also, if we wanted to, we could use the sticky shoes, but, uh, why, why, why even bother? Also, those tornadoes don't seem to hurt us. I guess that's why I'd bother. Wow, how do you even, like, what... How do you name these things bosses? Are you self-aware that you're in a video game, Jimmy? Alright, just remember where your health pickups are. Alright, now we're gonna go to the... this guy. Unfortunately, this time you can't, like, blow up the, the roof here. The only thing I don't like about this boss fight is that, like, for some of them, like this one, he looks exactly like the same boss. It doesn't look any different. Like, with the other ones, he kind of looks different because it wasn't, like, dark. But this one looks exactly the same. At least with this one, he doesn't, like, recharge his life. But also, if he's allergic to the light, wouldn't the lights of the surrounding shit, like, fuck him up? He's gonna... Oh. Oh, now he moved back. Uh, energy puck. I can't see! I can't see! Stop breathing on me. Right, this boss fight is actually kind of enjoyable, considering you actually have to think somewhat in order to make this stuff actually, you know, 
In order to, I guess, successfully defeat him, you gotta think on your feet and switch to the right invention at the right time. This is probably my favorite boss fight. And what also sucks, though, is that you only get the chance once you get up to this point in the game. Okay. Yeah, no shit, he doesn't look happy, Jimmy. Once you get up to this point in the game, for each playthrough, you can only actually play this. Like, you can't play... Oh, I didn't know he does it over there, too. You can't play any, like, anything else for this in this game. So, if you like this boss fight, and you don't want to start a new save file, then I'm sorry to say that this is the only thing that you're gonna play. Or at least, I'm not sorry to say that, if you do like it. Very misconstrued. But also, honestly, this boss fight, now that I'm playing it, seems pretty easy. Like, it doesn't seem, like, difficult in the slightest. Like, the tornadoes aren't hurting us. Oh, well, now it's hurting us for some reason when they didn't hurt me before. Like, I guess the ground being icy is kind of annoying, but, like, it's not really that difficult. Also, why did me blowing those things up hurt me? Come on, fly right over it. I guess this one is kind of like the hardest variation just because he flies around constantly and the other ones are stuck in place, but I don't know. Also, I was kind of expecting the final boss to be, when at least when I initially played this game, I expected the... What? I didn't even get a hit on him! Oh yeah, and they, he'll always go in that order. Oh. For some reason, the Frozen Lake boss is his favorite variant. I don't know why, but I guess it is. Oh wow, I'm surprised that even made it. Also, I, I don't like how, like, it's just, like, so lazy that they just have... Oh, yeah, let's just have the energy particles there that signify his, his whatever the fuck. Yeah, they didn't have to make him... Like, what I would have thought was cool is if the red, like, the original, like, red uh, Twonky that we saw, or at least the boss that we saw, the crater boss, there we go. I wish it was him instead, because at least, like... I don't know. It might have been a more unique boss then, but it also would have shown that that was the most powerful Twonky. Which would make sense, because that was the one on the, you know, the, the comet itself. Oh, and there we go. That apparently was the last, and he's reverted back to the Frozen Lake boss variety. Poor guy. I mean, he was kind of just doing what he was only known to be able to do. Jimmy's just like smiling. This thing is being fucking obliterated. Alright, now he's not smiling. So, yeah, he throws all of those probably much heavier benches away, but Jimmy's just fine. And what do you do about that dead body? Do you just leave it there? And there we go. All of our supporting cast members are just walking on the ice and not slipping and being fine. Libby, you were barely in this game! Way to show the 20 foot monster of destruction who's boss! Good one, Jimmy! Now we can listen to Graystar in peace. Nice you, How did you even get in? Mop up your own mess. I wonder if Graystar needs a backup singer. Well, that finally showed them! Retro That's interesting. Is safe and sound. <sighs> yes, Jimmy, everything is back to normal. Yeah, still, I can't help feeling that we forgot something. Uh, this is like such an abridged version of the actual ending of the game. Like, it's extremely abridged. How is my bag there now? And how wh how did Sheen have one? Oh yeah, that's right, we never caught that Twonky that was in his room! Actually, that is crazy attention to detail. I don't know if that was intentional, but we never caught the Twonky that was in his room. And it is the end. Because un until now, they haven't gone back to this concept at all. Twonkies kind of make subtle appearances in Jimmy Neutron cartoons that would take place after this. But for they are not the main villains. They w won't ever be the main villains. As long as Jimmy Neutron continues to be off the air, I mean, I hope with Paramount Plus that it comes back in some way. Twonkies are going to be left in the past, like where this game is. But I love this game. It's really short, it's kind of rough around the edges, have just but it's really fun. Bonus. And there we go, we unlocked a, a, our final the bonus. Menu, have a look in the bonus material section. Alright, Jimmy's mom, bonus. lab, even though I, I said I was going to call you that throughout the rest of the game, but I didn't even call you anything. Maybe I should call you by your name. Huh? Alright.
And there you go. I like how it has an intro to the credits. Oh, why didn't it say it? Oh, this game is actually made in Australia. Crikey. Right, now, why are we seeing Carl throw it back? And Hugh Neutron, even though he was only in this game for like two seconds, he's quacking like a duck in front of us. That's amazing. And where's Libby? Why isn't Libby? Libby was in the finale, but now we don't even have Libby. We have fucking Butch. At least Nick was in some, like, in several levels. So yeah, now we see all the characters just doing, like, their da dance animations. I don't know, man. But yeah, that was it, guys. That's Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies. Uh, it's one of my favorite GameCube games, honestly. It's really fun and it's short, so it's nice, I guess, to go through. Like, you can play through it once a year, and it'll only take you... It, you could literally beat it within, like, a day or two. Of course, I didn't do that because this is a Let's Play, and, you know, one video per day type thing. So, yeah. But I, I very much enjoy this game. I, there's a lot to be desired, though. They definitely could have done more with the gizmos and the inventions. In fact, we, like, at a certain point... See, look, there's Billy West at a certain point. Like, they, we don't make any more actual inventions. Like, at the Ma Main Street Mayhem is the last time we make an invention item. Otherwise, we have gizmos for throughout the rest of the game that, like, barely ever do anything. Like, some of them do help, but, like, some of them don't do, like, a lot at all. What the hell is a production baby? Oh, I guess it's the babies of the people that worked on the game. Also, it's funny that this game was uh, made in... Uh, oh, wait, they're showing the high scores that they got of those games? That's really weird. I guess that's what we're... The unofficial scores that we're supposed to beat. Okay, whatever. But yeah, for Jimmy Neutron games, this is the only one that i played. I would have liked to play the other ones, so maybe sometime down the line I'll play the other ones for the channel. Although I heard that this is the best that it gets, unfortunately. But this is a good game. Um, definitely look it out. Try it for yourself. It's available for PS2 as well as the GameCube. Um, remember also you can play GameCube games on the Wii, so don't forget about that. Um, I doubt this game's gonna get remastered or re-released at some point, but I think, uh... I think, at, you know, at some point, I think it, it should, it deserves to be remastered. I mean, I know it, that's a lot to be asked for, but, you know, at the end of the day, it... it, it Leaves some to be desired, but it's really fun, you know? Um, also, I'm gonna give a special shout-out to JuicyHam44, who's been commenting it and uh, giving his thoughts on the uh, the videos. Uh, at least most of them. Thank you for uh, commenting and leave giving your thoughts. Um, especially interesting theories about where the uh, Twonkies, uh, why they're sort of elementals, is that they're based off of different types of music. I didn't actually think of that, like, at all. Like firsthand, so I'm gonna credit him for that theory. Um, because it kind of makes sense, you know, like, the dark ones, the death metal, um, and I'm not really sure about the other ones, to be honest, but there, it, at least it's an explanation. They don't give you an explanation as to why they actually are like that. Also, I like how the music, like, it just loops like that. Um, it also makes sense, I think he pointed out that, like, it could be because of the locations that they were created in, they kind of just took the form of whatever was there. So that that's another possibility. Um, you know, especially because you could say that the Storm Twonky, the playground boss, started because of the thunderstorm, and the lake boss started because the lake was cold, and obviously the uh, Dark Matter Twonky was because it was in a dark roller coaster. But alright, well we're not exactly done here yet, because as I said, there are a few bonuses that we're going to look through. So why don't we look through them? Let's go to bonus materials. Since there aren't, I'm not going to be showing off any extra videos. Uh, this is basically what we're going to be doing. There's bonus movies, the play challenges, which the play challenges, if we look, it's the um, what do you call it? It's the the arcade games that we played, which is pretty cool that we get to actually have access to them. Um, there's bonus artwork, which is like actually a bonus a bonus movie in itself. And whenever I'm done playing this game, I actually really like to take a look at this, because it's just so cool. They don't actually give you these, you know, and, like, show you them for, like, most games. They're those creepy fucks. I think this is the last thing we get to, so, like, at the, it doesn't spoil your game. 
But it, it's really cool to see, like, how this game was, like, made, essentially. And, like, where, you know, the, the beginning of, like, these whole areas were being created. And I love that it gives you the, uh, the Downtown Danger music as well. That was, I guess, supposed to be the, uh, Crater Boss. But we didn't actually get anything from him that did anything re reminiscent of that. There's the Playground Boss, which he ended up looking pretty much like that. There's Goddard exploding a dumpster. And look at all this creative shit right here that we had, like, for the, the concept arc of the Twonkies. We barely got this stuff, you know? We got some of this to an extent, but they didn't actually go as far as that. Which I think is kind of disappointing, but, I, you know... There's stuff open for them to do more in this game. As we said, that's the Gromp from the, uh, the school. That's the Frozen Lake boss that would have looked a little bit different with his tusks. He didn't eventually have those tusks as they decided to gender swap and make it a girl. There's uh, what the arcade looked like, but kind of. There's what I guess was supposed to be Twonkus 3, even though it didn't even look like that in the show or the game. There's that satellite, which kind of looks really basic. Wait, what is, is that like a Russian star or something, or a Chinese star on it? Ah, uh, there's the uh, jetpack section, which we didn't even get that much of. Why was Sydney always supposed to have the pigtails? She doesn't have pigtails in the show. But yeah. Oh yeah, here's how they uh, fully created uh, Goddard's one thing that he did for one fucking level. And you see Jimmy riding the llamas, which I guess he didn't ever do. I don't know what this is, what that was. I, I guess that was just the people that made it. So yeah, that's cool. Um, I wonder what bonus movies actually entails. Jimmy opening credits, the- oh, the Attack of the Twonkies. Oh, we get trailers and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna look at these because I don't want to get, like, copyrighted from Jimmy Neutron, but you can watch the Attack of the Twonkies actual opening credits from the show. Um, I think a Jimmy Neutron, like, TV or VCR release thing, and Shadow Showdown, Fairly Odd Parents, and TAC 2. I actually had Shadow Showdown, but I honestly had no idea how to fucking play it, so I never got past, like, the Fairy World level. And, to be honest, it wasn't as interesting. Um, so with that taken care of, we're gonna do the bonus level. Which, thankfully, has the return of the jetpack! Uh, Jimmy Neutron in Rocketeer Racing! So yeah, basically what we gotta do here is we gotta race with the jetpacks. We gotta go through these rings off some fucking Superman 64 type shit. Uh, depending on which a character that tries to taunt you in the beginning, that's the character that's gonna give you the most shit throughout the game. I'm ahead of you, Jimmy! Uh, wow, she. Uh, it's actually kind of difficult. Uh, no! Damn it! We lost! That was so close, honestly. This is, yeah, it is kind of difficult to do. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens. Oh, you couldn't give make her do that? Like, you couldn't make her, like, read that voice clip? Also, this kind of sucks because, as you can see, these guys do have models that we can play as, that is coded to play as, but for some reason, we can't just, like, have, like, a palette swap or something. Also, doing this, you kind of see how short the Main Street Mayhem level is. Oh wait, Sheen is talking to us now? You've just made me a liar then. Alright, there we go. Nope, you're eating my ass. I mean dust. Neutron is the winner. <laughs> what? Did you guys hear that? Just, Neutron is the winner. Alright. And we got an A for Rocketeer Racing. So that completely makes our report card com complete, I guess. There we go. Very, very, very nice. So yeah, when you beat the game, or what, I think after you get the, uh, the... After you beat Main Street Mayhem, you can have access to this. So it's another level that you get to play as. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, win a race with Carl and Sheen. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies. Thank you guys for making this one of my most watched Let's Plays to date. I had a lot of fun making this. I had a lot of fun editing this. I had a lot of fun... And I think the, um, 
the little gags and stuff and memes I added it in, I think actually worked to the the betterment of the series. So I think I'm definitely going to try and do that more. It's just for games coming up in the future, I'm not sure that it's going to be able to do it. Like, because I do that mostly for games that, like, I, it's, like, more open-ended and, like, I actually have, like, the place to make fun of the characters and things like that and the weird voice acting. So we're definitely going to have to see, you know, in the next time uh, that we play. Um... Uh, we're gonna be, it might be a little bit more challenging, but, you know, it's, uh, I'm hopefuling, hope, hoping that you guys stick around for that. I think it's gonna be pretty fun, honestly. Uh, so yeah, we're actually gonna be returning to the realm of Nickelodeon sometime soon in the future. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I've left a little bit of clues. I think I left one clue. Um, it's very obscure, but if you actually knew what it, the, a certain thing was from, then maybe you would have gotten to guess it. Alright, well, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed this Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you guys so much as always, and uh, have a great night, great day, take care, and don't have a big head. I don't, I don't know. Thank you guys. Got a blast! Let's rescue these absolute creeps. Who the hell tied them anyway? Thanks, kid. Thanks, kid. Come on, huh? You wanna be a star? Look at this. This is crazy. Look at the way he's they're touching them and they look. That's like, what? Like, that's fucking creepy. Like, I'm sorry Nickelodeon, but the way you like manufacture your stars and stuff like that, I, I, I don't, I think that that was a little bit too on the nose. Also, who's recording in here? No one is. I'm not doing shit. It's not like I did sign that contract. So like, what, what? I want the fame and the fortune, but not like this. Also, I love these sound.